guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your girl Tyra D and I'm back with another video. If you like my videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. I appreciate all your support and thank you for tuning in this week. It's very sunny outside and guys, I look crazy. If you notice, I still have my sewing in, but I cut it, cut it because I don't know. It was itching my back. I'm not used to the sewing life. So, and like another problem I'm having is that my leave out won't stay straight. And that's the thing. And that's why I never have my real hair out because it won't stay straight. Like, I flatter my hair so many times and it's like I don't want to keep flattering it more and then I get massive heat damage because if you guys have noticed in my curly hair video that I posted the front of my hair doesn't curl the same way as the back does which is crazy to me because I have not been putting my um heat to my hair for a long time so I don't understand why it's like that but yeah so it's like the front this is like all oh, I'm not flattering it again it's gonna stay just like that I could have done my edges, but I didn't, whatever. But I guess now we look a little better now that we're brushed out. I'm about to head out to lunch with Courtney right now. We're gonna get some Spanish food. I'm thinking some shrimp and tostones. I don't know, we'll see what I get when I'm in there. But yeah, you guys, I'm gonna head inside now cause I'm so hungry. So see you guys inside. <music> on my plate don't care I'm super hungry I'm gonna enjoy it mm. Mm. that's good tomorrow is a very important day tomorrow is the last day you guys will be seeing Courtney on the channel for a while now she got a new job and is leaving for six weeks six weeks six whole weeks without my best friend here what am I gonna do but anyways y'all she's leaving so I decided to plan this little get together for her so i have bought some balloons and stuff pertaining to her career that she's now joining i must inflate those now i got them off of amazon and i'm gonna inflate them my other best friend is coming i'm gonna sneak into her house and set these balloons up and i got in contact with her boyfriend her boyfriend is also coming flowers and things to you know be like um when she opens the door so i have that planned and then i also planned a night out since it's her last night i invited some of her other friends They're gonna meet us there and Courtney has no idea any of this is happening the balloons the going out is nothing tomorrow i need to stop at the beauty supply store to buy her eyelashes because i know the first thing she's gonna say when it's time to do my makeup I, don't have any eyelashes. I got you covered so that's on the agenda for tomorrow Right now, I went to Rite Aid, and I just picked up a few things. I got me some new soaps. Guys, I have a spending problem. I went into Rite Aid to see if I could find some rinse out color. You know, the instead of doing hair dye, you put a rinse in your hair to rinse out my leave out so it could make it a little darker. Cause I feel like it's a shade lighter than my bundles. And I left with soap. 
a laser hair remover. Oh, my rice. I bought two things of soap because they were buy one, get one half off. My big receipt. Um, a e.l.f. beauty blender. A e.l.f. Um, eyebrow. The spoolie with the, the zip thing. And a new foundation brush. Well, it says powder brush, but I'm going to use this for foundation. The reason I had gotten this is because I got in the mail. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but whatever. The Il Maquillage Foundation. So I'm trying it for the first time. I'm going to try it on camera for you guys tomorrow when I'm getting ready to go out. And I figured I needed a new foundation brush if I'm going to be trying a new foundation. Because if I just use the brush I already have and it kind of has like after, like leave out. Leave out. It has like the aftermath of whatever I was using before that. It's not going to be as accurate. And I want to show you guys if it's accurate or not. So that's planned. So right now I'm about to just eat my rice. Finish that up. And start inflating these balloons for tomorrow. I figured it will be easier for me to do it tonight. And just put it in my car and then set it up tomorrow. So, yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> okay, guys, so this is the packaging. The balloons come in. I have my air pump. I'm ready. I'm a little nervous because usually when I blow up these balloons, I put too much air and I pop them. So, it came with the straws. I guess people put the straw in and blow. I have my pump. I'm not doing that. These, I don't know what this is. Absolutely no idea what that is. And they gave me this. Is this ribbon? You want to know what's crazy, you guys? I thought this was tape when I first saw it, and I'm so glad it's ribbon because I think it's ribbon. It feels like ribbon. Because I was planning to blow up these balloons and tape them to Courtney's wall. But the thing is that her walls are blue and these decorations are blue. And she also has frames on the wall. So it's kind of going to look not cute. And I might pop it trying to tape it to the wall. Or I'm going to be making too much noise upstairs and she's going to know like somebody's in the house. You know? And that's what we don't want. Like me, her boyfriend, and my best friend were sneaking in. And now that I see that there's some ribbon on here, I'm so glad. I'm going to put ribbon at the bottom of them. And that way... I'll put like three on one chair, three on the other chair, like tied to the chair, and that will be easier. It's ribbon. Perfect. All right, so all of my space. Okay, so, okay, so came with a star. There's one airplane. Yeah. And it says happy balloon. It's an airplane. So you can already guess what kind of career she got. My girl. Be a grown woman. And these aren't supposed to be clouds. They look like clouds when I okay, so yeah, when I blow it up, it's gonna look like a cloud. It has an ombre effect to it. So yeah, so I'm gonna start the airplane's gonna be last because if I pop that one, the main one. We gonna have a problem. Okay, so. Okay, but I don't understand. Oh! Duh. The sky, clouds under. I was about to say, why is the river down here? Anyways, let's get into it. Y'all 
so I finished inflating the last piece. Isn't it so cute? And we have the stars here, the clouds here. Y'all, I was so worried about having a ribbon for the balloons that I forgot these are not helium. It's not gonna stay up with the. Y'all see this? It's not even gonna stay up the way I imagined. I imagine it being connected to the chair and being cute, but I guess. Uh, look at that, one mistake. Oh no. That was. But I mean, the blue tie is tight enough. It's gonna lean over, but. <laughs> Y'all, whatever. It's a thought that counts. It's set up. Yeah. I'm about to just get ready for bed now. Put this in the car. Get ready for bed. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Shower and right now I'm about to brush my teeth. Where? Oh. I already washed my face. Yeah. So I'm about to just brush real quick. You just need some. You just need some late night attention. Dig with no complications. You just need some, you just need some late night attention. How about I just take my time? You call up my line, I fall up inside you. Girl, how about I just take my time? You call up my line, I fall up inside you. Playing with makes me wonder who you think 
playing with I'm just on myself to keep playing this Make her back over and over again Swear that you change, but I know that's the end All that you want to see Think you know your girl's so funny to me That's why you didn't call it but what a time Got tired of your shit, you almost lost your mind my, my. Long stay Continue to try to play these games Leave your family in the cold and rain I don't think you'll ever change your way Cause our house is not a home with no one there So alone, no one's there Should I move on since no one's here? Alright, so guys, it's time to try the foundation This is the packaging it came in Cut this open. See what we're working with. This is cute. Very cute. Okay. Construction, cute. The box. I don't know what this is. This is oh, they gave me an ink liner. Ink liner, cute. That ink liner was free. I didn't order that. And this is the sampling. So let's see what it's looking like. Okay. This is the color they gave me. This shade 175 woke up like this. I can I feel like it's already gonna be too dark on me. Like I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, was not expecting it to be like this. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. How am I supposed to? It should be always a squeeze. I don't like that. And it says apply two pumps to your entire face, jaw, and neckline. Wait for five minutes for foundations to set before checking the shade. Don't match to your neck, wrist, or a different tone than your face. Okay, squeeze two pumps, but this is not even a squeeze pump so okay how am I supposed to wow I don't like that so I guess I'm gonna just I don't know how I'm also supposed to do that this looks like it will be about two pumps I think let's see just dot it around first you know what I don't know if you guys can see it the way I do. I don't know about this. But let me blend it out. I think it's too dark. Maybe not. We're gonna let it oxidize on my skin first before we start making judgment. Let me get some on my forehead. I just feel like I look really toasty and brown.
I haven't worn foundation in a long time. I usually just wear pearl concealer. That's it. So I feel very odd just even putting this over my face. I already feel like I feel like a cake face, and that's why I keep trying to work it in. Spread it out. I mean, compared to my hand, it's not that far off. But is a little too dark when my contour which is really dark blends in it's looking like setting powder for what I already have on mm -hmm. I don't know about this
four minute walk. Not bad. How long? Four minutes. Twelve minutes. Oh. Oh. And we're walking this way. Uh huh. I think. Let's hope. I think. God damn it! Don't get us. You guys. Hey guys, it's like two days later. It's been a very hectic couple of days. I'm just getting off of work now. I just went out to Staples to buy a memory card for my camera. And I'm so hungry, you guys. And I need to eat like now. I look very pale, as you can see. And it's because I'm really that hungry. So I'm about to just go on a little lunch by myself. I want to do Cheesecake Factory. I think I do. I love their bread. I think I want to do that. So yeah. I had gotten my nails done too the same day when we did the surprise for Courtney. Um, I got them pink. You can't really see it, but they're pink. They're super cute. Um, I had to get my nails done because we were going out with the girls and everything, and I couldn't be there with my nails looking crazy. No, especially, and I'm glad I did because everybody else had their nails freshly done. Even Courtney, who didn't even know we were doing this. She was prepared, hair done, nails done, everything. So I'm like, shoot, imagine me, the one that set everything up being the one that looked crazy anyways so that whole thing was a really good day you guys are gonna see this footage and everything well you guys probably already saw the footage i think i'm gonna put that footage before i even talk about this but she had a good time which is the best part i had a good time it was nice to get together with the girls and yeah i'm talking too much i'm hungry let's let's go get something to eat i'm starving literally felt like i jumped the curb Yo, my buddy, why is she wearing that? Hold on, I'm at the drive-thru, hold on. 
Well, I just realized that like, he's damn near naked. What the fuck? Hello, Hi, um, can I get a be um the Beyond Burger, the meal, the Impossible Whopper meal? Oh, okay. And what size do you like it? More medium large? Let me get that in a medium. And oh, can okay. I have the drink as a, a Coke? Oh no, today is Thursday. Hey, can I can I also get a order of onion rings, a, sure. a small What's size? More medium large. Small. Okay. Um, that's it. All right. Good drive up. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I was talking about getting Cheesecake Factory. Ended up at Burger King. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thanks. Huh? Hello? Yeah. yeah. That it went up to 17 from 16? No, no, no. I just took a whole other one. Um, I told you, I said hold on, I'm at the drive thru. I wasn't listening to you at all. I put the volume down and everything. Oh. Are you gonna say it? What you were saying? Oh, I thought you said one way around. Huh? Yeah. He pulled out, he pulled out. No, I thought you said You guys, I ended up getting Burger King. And because I was on the phone, I forgot to say no pickles. So I'm taking out my pickles now with gloves on. Always good to keep gloves in the car for any reason, honestly not. I mean, I wouldn't put this reason at the top of the list because it's weird. But you know the thing is, I really hate pickles on my sandwich, but I could really bust some pickles down like some spicy ones. If they're by themselves it's weird but whatever so yeah okay got my impossible whopper together hmm the reason I get an impossible whopper is because I don't eat meat anymore people that know me well used to know me but that's not me anymore know that I love meat I love my oxtail, rice and peas, my good old steak. I'm about to just wipe my hands down with some wet ones before I eat with my hands. Um, I stopped eating meat for about three or four years now. And it was because I had gone to a luncheon and there was pork being served. Pork being served, it's... um. You know the Spanish way to cook it pork, the pernil? So I was eating that, busting it down because I love that. But you know what? It was from a different place. Like when my mom makes it, it comes out perfect. You know it's well seasoned. You know it's cleaned well because with pork, like pork is pig. Pigs eat garbage for a living. They eat garbage. Like they're nature's garbage cleaners. So... Of course, like whatever you're when you're eating them, you're eating that garbage essentially. So it's like if you don't clean and season and, and all that stuff you're supposed to do before you even put it in the oven to cook or whatever, your food is gonna come out bad. But like something's gonna go sour in there. And that's exactly what had happened. Like I I felt like the food was fine, it was good. But you know what? Let me not say the food went sour because I was apparently the only one that got sick. One other person said they got a little sick, but me, I ended up in the hospital. Like for days like I was literally throwing up and it was coming out the backside of me uncontrollably like I could not even control it. it was coming out at the same time so literally on the toilet and throwing up on the floor at my feet at the same time and it was like for hours and I had to go to, to the ER and there they you know put me on the fluids on the IV whatever whatever ran a whole bunch of tests trying to see what was wrong with me and see if it's food poison or whatever the case is. And they were like, no, there's nothing wrong. So I'm like. How is there nothing wrong? I'm literally here dying. And their conclusion was like, oh, it's a culture thing. And I don't know what, what like, culture. What is this? It looks like a burn. Culture. 
And the only thing I could think of is that, you know, my dad, he doesn't eat meat. He stopped eating meat since he was a kid and only eats chicken and fish. And they're like, oh, maybe it's that type of thing. Because, you know, sometimes the mind works in mysterious ways and you could be adapting to your dad's lifestyle. That are... Excuse me, because I want my oxtail. Like, adapt to that life. But now... Every time I see meat, smell meat, or whatever, it makes me nauseous. Even chicken. And chicken wasn't even the problem. And cows weren't the problem. It was just the pork. But for some reason, like, I just, all of it turns me off. And it wasn't until recently when I started eating vegan foods and stuff like that, that I kind of could eat these impossible walkers, like the Beyond Meat burgers, because I like meat, guys. Don't get me wrong. Like, I like it. It's just my body rejects it. So it's not that I don't want to eat it. I do. Like... I do, but it, it just makes me like gag, like I don't, and it pisses me off, but with this stuff, I'm fine, and that's what I'm starting to think, like, yeah, maybe it is a mind thing, because how am I okay with this, but not real meat, I don't know, but I got my Impossible Whopper, I got me some onion rings, some fries, I already started eating some of the fries, you know how that goes, look, so yeah, I'm about to just eat my meal, and Yeah. Mm. Mhm. Mm I missed the pickle. It is right at the front too. I thought they only put three pickles on. I took three pickles off. Let's get that out of here. Cause I'm tasting the juice. I'm like, I don't like that. Okay. And you know, I wonder, I usually get this with cheese. Like, is this cheese vegan cheese? Because I'm not a vegan. I can, I eat fish. You know, I'm not a vegan, but I do like the vegan stuff. But I need some real cheese. Mm. It's the way I was imagining in my head. That I was going to go to the Cheesecake Factory, sit down and eat my meal. But now I'm eating Burger King in my car instead. And the thing is, I actually prefer this. The comfort of your own space, you know? I have bought some things off of Fashion Nova. I might add in a clothing haul to this vlog. I didn't get that many pieces, so I feel like I can include it in the vlog. Like, it doesn't need to be its own video. If it was its own video, it would be two minutes long. I think I got about 18 or 19 pieces. So, I'll add it into the vlog. And I do need to go shopping. Like, there's just some a lot of new things I want to buy. And I remember saying in my other vlog, like, I always want to buy new things, only wear them once, and never again. And it's really true. I really do have that problem where I just buy things that are unnecessary. Like, how I did the other day with Rite Aid. Or, it wasn't even Rite Aid. It was CBS. With CBS, I went in there for, to look for the, the, the hair rinse and ended up spending $50 on what? Soap? I could have went to I, I could have gone to Walmart for that. I bought so the hair trimmer thing and I recorded myself using that thing and I was terrified to use it. But I feel like it took some of the hairs off, but not everything. But maybe it's because I wasn't really looking. Cause I get like little chin hairs and stuff, like I like or like my edges. They'll like ride long down. Uh-uh. So I need to like, you know, and I use it like I could pluck them, but sometimes I go in them with them. I go at them with the razor and that's bad because it just grows back thicker and darker and people like when people say that like oh your hair's gonna grow back thicker I'll be like ah no it's not it does <laughs> it really really does and it comes out so black like before it was not as black now like when it starts poking out you're like oh is that a beard coming in like mm. girl mm -mm. Mm. I'm gonna get an onion ring
I love onion. Ooh, I think I got some zesty sauce. I like the zesty sauce. It's not all that, but it's all right. It's like hot sauce for your onion rings. All right, it don't want to open. It's not opening. Oh, there it goes. I was about to say that's a sign. Oh, you know what? I should have the mozzarella sticks too. I didn't know. The mozzarella sticks are not that good. They're all right, but they're not that good. Ooh. Look, this onion ring came out looking like a... Why does it... Can you zoom? Ugh, not zoom. Can you focus? Let me, let me do how they be doing. See if it's going to focus this one. Me. It looks like a heart, guys. Let me eat it. Why did I just hot sauce? I'm gonna sniff it. That just burnt my. That just burnt every inside of my nose. Every inside. It's alright. It's like, it's just like, it's just like I remember, it's just a little hot. I feel like I'm getting my color back. You know, I don't look as white. I really needed some food. I really, really did. Mmm. Mm. Speaking of impossible. Whoppers and Beyond Meat and stuff. Golden Crust came out with the Beyond Meat beef patties, and you guys, it's good. I um used to get beef patties all the time. Well, my dad used to buy them for me all the time with cocoa bread, you know, and a little Jamaican cola. And that was one of the things I really miss when I don't eat from like not eating meat. Those beef patties, because those are like the go to, like, you a little hungry, let me get a beef patty. So. I really did miss those and the other day I had gotten one and it was so good it was like to the point where I thought that maybe it was even beyond me I'm like it tasted so much like you know regularly like I know what a burger tastes like so I know that this is not a burger because like it doesn't it, it lacks that juice like I wish this will focus like it's focusing on me but not on what I'm trying to show you like okay there we go like you can see like, you can tell that's not a real burger. Like, you can just see. Like, it doesn't have that, you know, that bloody texture, the tendons, and, like, it don't got it. <sighs> because it's not real meat. But with that beef patty, I looked inside, I'm like... Yeah, they put give me the wrong one. Like it was, it was good. Like I couldn't tell that it was not, and maybe it could be because I haven't had one in a long time. But I, I couldn't tell that it was not the meat. I'm a mess. You know, guys, I'm glad I did this instead of going out to eat because you know when you go out to eat, they got like music playing in the background, there's people talking, there's background noise, like. I really enjoy being in silence. Like, the power of silence is, like, so ridiculous. And I didn't really notice it until, like, now that I'm older. That I prefer to, like, just sit in silence, not be on my phone, just enjoy the peace and quiet. Because it's, like, with my line of work, I don't really get that. There's always somebody talking, somebody making noise, and all that stuff. I say, and when I leave work, I'm just like, 
quiet. I love it. Like, it's gotten to the point where I drive with no music. Like, I literally drive with no music at all. In the morning time, <clears throat> I listen to Hot 97, and that's just, I like to hear, like, the Ebro in the morning, them talking, and I like to listen to, like, the Ride or Die, and the, that other thing, what's that other one called? Curved, those segments, and, like, I just like to hear them talking their talk and stuff. Like, the little drama, I like the games, too, like, when they do the Are You Smarter Than DJ John, and when they do the... Like, all the little stuff. Like, I listen to that in the morning. That's entertaining. But other than that, like, when they play the music, like, when they go on commercial break, I turn the music down. I don't want to hear it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm saying I don't know. I do know. I like the quiet. You know, now that I'm thinking about it though, the amount of money I spent on this food, I really could have got me a nice good plate at Cheesecake Factory. I think I spent, I don't even know how much I spent. Let me see what they charge my card. I know, I just know that these Beyond Meat stuff are not cheap. Let me see how much they charge my card. So let me, before I even look, the plate I'm talking about from Cheesecake Factory is like, $25 and then maybe like with tip and everything I probably and drink I probably would have spent like 30 32 dollars in there I take it back it gave us a 15 77 that's not bad save myself 15 dollars I guess yeah you know what I do like the silence but I do feel like talking on the phone so let me just Get on a little phone call, phone call, we'll keep up with the people them. When it's still ringing, okay. It's giving, I'm talking to nobody. Yeah. That was the time for me to just sit here and enjoy my silence. Oh my God. The whole tomato phone. Let me get that. Like I said in the other video, I look so unappealing when I'm eating, so I know I'm probably gonna wash this back and be like, Why do you look like that? But, whatever, I'm just trying to get real content of what my day looks like, and this is what it looks like. Me sitting in my car eating, enjoying my silence. And I'm literally about to lay down right now. I'm about to put my seat back. Lay down. I know I said this so many times, but I really am glad that I chose this option of just eating in the car because right now I've been getting up at the table, like feeling rushed. You know, why did my eye just do that? Feeling rushed, and. I don't want to be rushed. I want to sit down, eat my food, relax, <clears throat> talk to you guys. It would have been so weird me sitting at the table talking to you guys. And it would have been loud. There would have been a lot of background noise. And now we're just like, we're here. You're in the car with me. We're here. Man, yeah, I'm about to eat this last onion ring. Y'all, I just got so scared right now. I looked over to my left. I look at the gas thing. And that thing is on zero. Gas prices have gone up so much. It's like, it makes me not even want to, it makes me want to ride my suitcase to work. Because. Five dollars. My tank is like 70 something dollars now to fill. And before it was. 50 and most 55 and guys i do gas like every three days so feel my pain feel my pain but anyways <clears throat> it's scary because i know i just did gas and to see it on zero i'm like but 
my car's off. That's why it's on zero. Duh. Have my seat ready preset to lay down. And yes, my blanket. Y'all, I'm telling you, I just get real comfortable. I need to get some tents because I like to do this and I like to just lay down and chill and take a nap in my car. But I don't need people watching me. Hey guys, so it's the next night and I'm staying up tonight because I'm going to try to make an Instagram reel. Now, I haven't been on social media for years, no Snapchat, no TikTok, no nothing. So when I get back on Instagram and I'm like, what's so real? What's this? What's that? Courtney's like, girl. And I'm like, girl, I don't know what this is. So I'm going to try to make my first reel because I've seen other people's reels and they look really cute and very satisfying to look at. Like even like the little lounges and stuff. And it's just really cute to look at. So I'm like, let me try one. Let me see like how I can broaden my network and become more like noticeable on my channel and also on instagram because you know they go hand in hand so let's see how this goes i'm gonna try to make one and i don't know they just look like they're hard to make but everyone's like no it's mad easy whatever whatever so i'm gonna give it a go i have everything set up here i have my ring light and everything i'm ready to go and y'all i just washed my leave out i just came out the shower i'm a little red i just washed my leave out and you know did little cute edges because I'm going to do mostly like my hands and stuff in this reel because I see that a lot of people do that as well. Like I'm not trying to be a follower per se, but I'm trying to follow the trend of how people do things. Like what's pleasing to see? Not nobody like unless it's like a vacation thing or like, you know, the girls doing a toast and stuff like that. Like I don't know how I feel just sitting there like on a reel. Like I don't know, but let's see how this goes and I'm just going to set you guys up so you guys watch me attempt to do this and hopefully it comes out really really cute. So, stay tuned. All you wanna do is gas me. How we end up in the back seat? Just trying to get to the bag. We on the same page, you the same way. Only keep the fam around me. So let me know what it's gonna be. I don't plan on getting no sleep. Why we doing our thing? Moving too fast. Candy paint with the windows all black seats. Crème brûlée. What they gon' say? With the top down, screaming money, anything. We up till six in the morning. When the sunrise will be on it. Boy, I got five, you all so live. Tell me when to go, baby, when we gon' slide, baby, when we gon' slide. Hey. Up all night, baby, when we gon' slide. When we one on one Looking at us cause we going dumb We on the same wave, you the same way You know I'll be down if it's with you Where we going, baby, what's the move? We should take a trip up to the moon Get on Doing our thing, moving too fast Okay guys, so this is like the end of my reel that I'm recording now And I'm just gonna sit here and Right now for the reel I'm gonna pretend to do work like YouTube work or whatever, but I actually do have work to get done for later on. But this is just for the real part, so make sure I suck at it. Right, guys, let's see what that real is looking like. You guys, I'm sorry, my phone had died on me, but 
I put together that reel finally. It took me forever. It took me, I think I went to bed around 3 in the morning. And even then, it still wasn't even posted all the way. Like, I could not figure it out. I don't know. I, what are the, what? I don't even know. But I figured it out and I posted it today. And you guys, as of right now, I have so many views. Like, I thought, I didn't even know what to think. I was just like, this is cute. Let me post it. But you know what? I'm really glad I did because... A lot of people have watched it and for what I hear when you have like good reels and things like pleasing things to see I think I already said this earlier like makes people want to come to your page come to your channel whatever it is so I posted this up and I was just thinking I'm like maybe I'll get like 500 views whatever hopefully like hoping that I would get that many views and thinking I wouldn't get anything more than that you guys, as of right now, I have 1,464 views. I'm so surprised. Like, well, now I got one more view right now. I'm very, very surprised. But, you know, after I was watching a couple of times, I'm like, this is really cute. This is like, I don't know. I like it. Like, if I was scrolling past and saw this, I'll probably watch it too. And I'll like it. Like, it's really, really cute. And I don't know. So... Yeah, I got a lot of views. I didn't get that many likes. I have 111 likes. Well, I mean, that's not bad. It's for my first reel, and I don't have that many followers on Instagram. I only have 2,000 followers. So, guys, follow me on Instagram at tyra.d.tv. It's linked down in my description box. But I don't have that many followers. So, to just be able to reach as many people, that's pretty cool. Um, let me look at my insights. So, yeah, so seven people shared shared this and seven people saved it i think the saving part is kind of weird i don't know because it's kind of like just repost it why are you saving this to your phone that's weird so looking at that i was like let me make sure my address on nothing was like showing because that would be really weird if somebody like saved it to zoom. i don't know i think about stuff like that but whatever but i'm gonna play it for you guys i'm not gonna play with the music because i don't want to get copyrighted but this is what it looks like that came out super super cute i'm so proud of it and i wish you guys can hear it i captioned it uh, on the thing itself my friday nights and then the caption of the actual video itself oh i just gained the follower um the actual video itself is um captioned hookah and chill with a question mark so it was really cute the song that I put with it was really cute and i left the camera audio on so that like every time since I, you know, the hookah's glass, when it hit the table, it made that knocking noise. And so did the candle and then me firing up the charcoal, all those noises and like the crinkling of the, it was, I'm telling you guys, it's so nice to hear. It was like some ASMR type of thing. It was really, really cute. It's really nice. I love it. I'm so proud of it. And right now I'm at 1476. So more people are viewing it as we speak and, oh. 1481 i keep refreshing it because i'm so in shock like how did i don't know like i guess it was really that cute i don't know but whatever so i intend to start making more reels and like just po post cute stuff like i feel like my pictures now are they're cute and stuff i need to work on captioning just i want to get my page out there i want to get my channel out there but we'll see and you guys i appreciate you guys watching and go watch my reel <laughs> But, so yeah, so now, let's do this try on haul. I talked about it the other day about doing a try on haul. Let's, let's just do that right now. So, yeah. All right, y'all. So, this is the first piece. It's a nice little cute two-piece set. It's giving orangey peach, but on the website, it looked red. So, I'm a little... Mm, about the color but it's cute it goes nice on my skin it fits nice this is a size small and my only trouble was the sleeves and that's just because my arms are a little it's a little big but other than that the pants feel they fit good and they don't they have this little stretch thing in the back here so it hinges it hinges so it's perfect so you don't have that look that be like this so that's really cute. I like this. I can see myself 
holding my little bag, like. Yeah. So, this is fit number two. And I like this. It feels a little tight. When I tried it on last night, it felt way tighter than it does now. But, I don't know, I think I was a little bloated. And now I'm a little flat. So it looks a lot better now. Um, it does still feel snug. My only thing, this is a nude. My only thing is, you can see my underwear right through that. And the thing is that it's so thick. So you would think it's like solid, baby. No, so it's given, you gotta wear a super tiny thong with this just so that it don't show or no underwear at all. And I don't know how I feel about that. But I like this, this little, well, let me zip this up. But like, this is cute. This is giving cozy. I like the color. I see me with some nice little Gucci socks on and sneakers. Just sitting there again with my little bag. Like, I like it. I'm gonna have to make it work because I like that. So, this is outfit number three. And I love this. These sleeves are giving me salsa. It's making you wanna do do do. Or however you do that. I don't. Let me try it again. I know it's one, two, one, two, hey, one, two, ah, one, two, something like that. But that's what these sleeves are giving. And it's low key giving bodysuit, like, well, bodysuit romper type of thing, but with a little bit of class. Because now, like, if it was just this, without this, it's giving sneakers, sandals. But now that it has this, maybe it's giving heels. I'm gonna be like, in my heels, looking real cute. No sneakers for this, but y'all, this fits so nice and snug. This is perfect. Literally, I feel like all my pictures gonna be just like all of them because these outfits are serving. I was gonna turn around, but I think these are a little short, a little too short. Hmm. I'm gonna just stay forward, but y'all can see it's kind of, it is short. So I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of don't like that. I wish it was a little longer. Just so that classy feel I was talking about, it's getting a little more classy and a little less skeet. But this is cute. I like this. I'm gonna make this work with some heels, especially like on vacation. Yeah, this could fly on vacation. Out to dinner, holding my glass of wine like, clink. Yeah, this is, yeah y'all this is the next outfit and it's the complete outfit this bodysuit and these pants so the bodysuit is in the small i'm gonna link everything down below and let you know what size i got and it feels pretty big and i think that's just because of its red material but it, it still fits if it's good and these pants and these are really really cute i like these together but girl this belt that it came with it got to go. I'm probably gonna wear this with my white Gucci belt, but I need to get that fitted because I lost a lot of weight and my belt don't fit. So definitely need to get that tailored so I can wear with this and some sneakers and hold my new bag. Oh my God, I have the perfect Gucci bag to go with these pants. Girl, again, pose. Just like this with the bag hanging right here, belt. I'm gonna be just like, watch. Y'all gonna see when I post my pictures on Instagram when I finally go somewhere to wear these outfits. But you get the idea. I'm gonna spin around so you guys can see how the pants fit. They definitely are giving shape and they don't get too crazy with the, you know, you thick, you know what I'm talking about. So I like it. Definitely, definitely like it. So yeah, thumbs up for this. I got this top also in black. So I don't think it's really necessary for me to put it on for y'all because y'all see how this looks. So you know, you get the idea what the black is gonna look like because I don't feel like doing all that. So yeah. Girl, this is giving, I'm famous. 
I'm finna wait to sit them at Gala. That's what this is giving with some heat. With some heels. Definitely giving. Let me do the clothes again. Definitely. The only thing I don't like about this are these straps. They kind of, because it rounds up like this and then it's just like, I don't know. It's really weird and it's very little. I don't know. It feels a little weird, but I still think this is really, really cute. And y'all, it is double lined. And if you know, you know, because Fashion Nova lately has not been double lining anything. And that's exactly why like that, the ribs shirt looks see-through and I don't remember what other outfit was. Oh, my bodysuit looks see-through. They're not double lining their stuff. And that's what makes it like cheaper. Like we want the double line. We need the double line just to make sure that everything's intact and it's not see-through. But I love this. These sparkles, I look, this is what the back is like. A little crisscross action. This is cute. I like this. Super, super, super cute, y'all. Um, originally, I was not gonna pair this with this. I don't remember what I was pairing this with. I think it was the Army Fatigue pants to wear that with some heels to class up the little army fatigue look. Cause I think that's super cute. Like a little, I don't know, like, I wouldn't say boyish, but like a little boyish with like a sleek top and heels, fire. But I got in this skirt to go with another outfit. Well, another shirt, let me show y'all. It was to go with this. It's not even a shirt, it's a bodysuit and Y'all can't see it the way I see it. It just looks really black on camera, I feel. But it's see-through. And it has feathers for the shoulders. So up here, feathery. And down at the wrist. So it's super cute. It's just super see-through. So I don't know how I feel about that. I'm going to have to try it on. But I didn't want to try that on on camera. I just feel like, I don't know. I got to see how that look on my own time and then but that's supposed to go with this so it's supposed to be this with the skirt and some heels cute but now that i'm seeing oh y'all now that i took it off my couch these things they these feathers they fall off there's a bunch of them on my couch right now i don't like that but whatever but ooh, i got an itch i gotta take this hair out i don't know which one y'all convinced me to get a soul in it gotta go I can't I, I need my braids back but anyways um I like this together I can see me wear it with some heels too I think it's really really cute why oh, I felt like I saw a shadow but this is cute really really cute it is a little short like I feel like it's gonna be one of I don't first of all I don't wear skirts I don't remember the last time I wore a mini skirt let alone a leather mini skirt so I don't know when me get this I feel like I don't know something different I don't know but it's, it feels short and things that it don't look as short up here but things that when you got a booty in the back it kind of lifts it up so I don't even want to turn around because I feel like mm. so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to keep it down because no but it has this cute cute slit right here I think it is a little high too I don't know I don't know, I don't know. but it fits really really cute it looks nice but i don't know for my liking if i would feel comfortable wearing this outside just because of the riding up factor and then this has so much out that you just never know you don't want nothing slipping out but yeah i think this is cute it's a cute look heels in the back i can already see it i can see it all so yeah i like this i like it all right, you guys, that's a wrap on this Fashion Nova haul and a wrap on this video entirely. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. I appreciate all your support. You have no idea how happy it makes me to do these videos for you guys. And I just want you to subscribe to my channel. Like, I want to keep doing these videos. I really like doing it. I really love doing that Fashion Nova haul. And I actually just got another package. It's sitting right there. So in my next video, I'm definitely going to do another haul. But guys, comment on my videos and let me know what you want to see next. Do you like the vlogs? Do you like the hair videos? Whatever it is, let me know. Give me some feedback because I need to know. But anyways, thank you for tuning in for another week. I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm calling it a night.